hi friends welcome back so in this video i'll be discussing about how to improve the manual testing skills that is the agenda of this video where i'm going to discuss the various things which you can improve in order to become an expert in manual testing skills so, so let's move on to understand which are those way to improve our manual testing skills the first thing we should do is we should deepen our understanding in manual testing fundamentals that means is so you should uh, first of all you should understand the basics of testing principles it's very simple where you should crystal clear understanding of uh, principles of software testing including various different types of software testing and what are the various levels of software testing you should understand as a foundation that is the first thing we should do and the second thing we should do is you should understand the overall concept of software development life cycle which is overall how we are going to implement the software in a different uh, stages this is uh, from requirements to design then coding then uh, testing and maintenance and so on similarly in software testing life cycle also we have a various uh, stages in the software testing that also you should understand which is stlc next thing you should do is as a manual tester you should be very good in analytical and critical thinking which is very important uh, aspect which you should learn as a manual tester here the key thing is you should be good in problem solving where you will be able to analyze the requirement identifying the potential issues in the requirements or in the design or wherever if you go through those documents you should be able to understand as well as identifying the issues uh, as part of uh, the analytical skills or critical thinking skills and you should also learn to cultivate the habit of attention to details you should keep your eyes very close to the details and you should be able to spot the inconsistency between the oral recommend documents versus implementation and as well as uh, even while we log the defects you should keep the things as much as detail possible so that they can easily reproduce the issue that is the key thing you should learn in order to enhance your manual testing skills and the next aspect is you should be very good in domain knowledge any kind of application you may be working you may be working in the mobile application or banking application or retail application or insurance or and so on where you should have a clear understanding on the business requirements if you are working on web application then you should be well versed with those uh, aspect if you are working on the financial uh, domain you should be well versed with the financial aspects as well and uh, similarly healthcare and retail and the next thing is you should also think as a end user perspective because at the end of the day the end user or a customer are going to sign up the application they are going to sign off and uh, get delivered the application ends whatever we test whatever we do we should always keep in mind that we should keep in user perspective when we are testing the application and you should also look on the designing skills which is very key here. especially as a manual tester you should be very good in designing the test cases or test scenarios in a comprehensive and realistic way based on the requirements availability and you should be very good in writing clear and concise and detailed test cases that cover both positive negative boundary conditions and so on and you should be able to break the application that is the motto of the manual tester and you should also gain the practical experience as a manual tester it is not just theoretically you should learn you should also learn the hands-on experience by working on real projects or simulated projects to apply your knowledge either it could be testing knowledge or your domain knowledge and you should be very proficient in uh, 
reporting the bugs either using uh, tools like Jira, Bugzilla or Redmine or even an excel sheet you should be well versed in uh, bug reporting and you should also improve your communication skills because you will be interacting with uh, various stakeholders where communication skills really matters it could be sending an email or it's it could be writing a test cases or it could be reporting your bugs your communication skills really matters both oral as well as written skills and you should also be good in collaboration work where you will be working with the developers, project managers and other stakeholders. And the next one is you should also well versed with the manual testing tools such as uh, you should be well versed with the uh, quality center, test trail or Zephyr. You should well versed with these test management tools or even you should be experts in exploratory testing which is session based exploratory testing techniques or tools uh, whenever you are working on the manual testing and you should also well versed with the industry standards you should keep updating yourself what is really happening how will you do that you should be able to read the blogs you should read various uh, articles which are trending even books if you read definitely you get an idea on where the industry is moving towards and also you should attend the webinars conferences and meetups so that you can learn from the industry experts and you should also network with the other manual testers so that uh, you can get a well versed uh, information communities like uh, ministry of testing stock overflow linkedin group and so on if you join these groups definitely you can well versed with the latest knowledge what is really happening with the manual testing and also you should also work with your own peer group your own colleagues your own friends to share the knowledge among yourself and gain the experience from them as well that is also another way of uh, enhancing your manual testing skills and you should continuously learn that is a key uh, especially if you have wanted to stay very long in software industry you should be well versed in continuous learning as well as you should get as much certification possible on a particular skill and so on you should enroll various online courses and new techniques you can learn methodologies you can learn latest trends you can learn and also you can get a certification from various uh, boards like ISTQB, CST or QAI to validate your skills and knowledge that is those are the people they can provide certification for your effort or for your learning and you should practice exploratory and ad hoc testing as well because this is a very key uh, these days especially if you're working agile with a limited time and limited effort most probably people will try to adopt this exploratory and ad hoc testing so in order to complete the overall testing hence these aspects you should learn you should get mastery in this exploratory testing as well as ad hoc testing exploratory testing is nothing but where you are going to discuss issues without having any predefined test cases ad hoc testing is nothing but you are going to perform the testing very quickly to find the bugs without uh, having any formal or any way of uh, testing method you are going to adopt as part of ad hoc testing and you will be keep testing until you find as much as issues possible hence these two testing technique you should learn and you should get mastery in this and next one is you should also be good in keeping documentation the documentation such as test plan test cases test scenarios the traceability you should ensure the traceability should happen from recommends to test cases to defects to maintain the comprehensive of test documentation and you should also be well versed with the various uh, manual testing techniques such as boundary value analysis equivalence partitioning decision table testing and risk based testing so these are the some of the key technique which we normally use these days uh, to enhance uh, overall uh, manual testing skills if you learn and if you adopt whatever which i just told in various slides if you learn and adopt keep adopting these things definitely you can become a mastery in manual testing skills i hope uh, 
you guys got a clear idea how to manage yourself as a manual tester in the coming days by following these various uh, skills and techniques if you guys really like this video please click on like button if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care